Hi, people. Uh, there's uh, very incredible things happening now. With uh, In Israel, there's this war that's going on between uh, Israel and uh, the Palestinians in uh, the Gaza Strip. And uh, the Israelis are really leveling the Palestinians. They're just uh, hammering them with these um, bomb strikes. Uh, air strikes, but at the same time they're protecting themselves with the uh, it's called the Iron Dome, which is a new system which can shoot down any missiles being sent out of Gaza. So the Palestinians have no way of getting to the Israelis, and the Israelis are just uh, they're they're having a field day. They they just pound them exactly as they want, and they don't have to do this uh, land offensive army offensive because uh, if they do the army offensive then they, they they will have deaths whereas right now of course they they, they can't take over Palestine, Gaza and, the, and control everything but uh, for the time being they don't they can afford to have no deaths and, and at the same time, they can they can force the Palestinians to just accept some kind of a truce or a ceasefire. So I can say that the Israelis and the American technology, which is behind them, and America, like America, people say Israel is just a puppet of America. So America has got total victory here over the Muslims. And uh, what's ha happening is historically we're seeing that the Muslims are just not budging at all. The other Muslims are not supporting the Palestinians. So it's a total victory for America and for Obama. And that realizes the prophecy that the Antichrist will uh, ascend the throne of Solomon in Jerusalem. So uh, Obama has all the signs of being the Antichrist. And now the final realization of the Bible prophecy is happening that he is ascending the throne of Israel. Um, I was looking at the uh, Antichrist chapter here in uh, Wikipedia, you see, it's here, and it gives a description of the Antichrist in the beast from the earth, according to the book of Revelation, and also referred to as the false prophet, has been equated with an individual Antichrist. So it says, then I saw another beast that rose out of the earth. It had two horns, like a lamb, and it spoke like a dragon. It exercises all the authority of the first beast on its behalf, and it makes the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast, whose mortal wound had been healed. It performed great signs, even making fire come down from heaven to earth in the sight of all. You see, <laughs> heaven coming down from heaven to earth. Well, fire, fire coming down from heaven to earth. Well, look, I mean, uh, in what's happening in Israel now, I mean, they're just pounding the Palestinians with, uh, with airstrikes. So, telling them to make, so he's telling them to make an image for the beast that had been wounded by the sword and yet lived. You see, there, it talks about two beasts. There are two beasts. The first beast, which is the hideous, horrible beast, and then the second beast. second beast is the very smooth, smooth-talking, liar, deceiver. And uh, people have said that these beasts are separate. I don't believe so. I believe that uh, it's the same one because the Antichrist is made up of three things. The first beast, second beast, and Satan. So I think that uh, Obama hides his past, although we don't know what that is. That's the first beast, his hideous past is the hideous beast. And he hides that, and he has this fake deceiving appearance uh, who, who, who tricks people. And he makes the image of the first beast, he tells them, he tells them to make an image of the beast that had been wounded by the sword and yet lived. And he, he 
makes people uh, worship his past. Uh, Obama makes up this phony past about his uh, biography and everything, which is totally phony. But he makes people, he, he, he makes that look like, oh yeah, he's the great uh, black uh, fighting for the black civil rights, for the rights of blacks and everything. So he passes off as the super duper guy, he, the heir to Nelson Mandela and to Martin Luther King. But actually, Obama is uh, just a phony. And uh, it says here that the beast had been wounded by the sword and yet lived. My theory is that Obama was revealed to be a phony uh, because uh, the day after his election in Chicago, his hometown, the lottery drew 666. I consider that that is uh, obvious, it's evidence. There's no doubt that that is a mir miracle, a heavenly miracle sent by heaven. It's mir miraculous omen. Uh, that reveals that Obama is the Antichrist. And I think that, that was a mortal wound, a fatal wound for him. But he managed by a miracle to survive that. What he did, I'll, I'll explain to you wh how he did that. He, everybody in Chicago was horrified and was thinking, hey, this guy is the Antichrist. And what Obama did was, after his victory, he was supposed to go to the White House like three months later or something. And what he did is he took his family and he went and stayed in a hotel across the road from the White House so that the reporters didn't come to Chicago. If, they, if the reporters and the world news all came to Chicago and Obama took the helicopter from Chicago and straight to the White House, which is all the presidents do that. Uh, when uh, Bill Clinton was uh, in Arkansas, he took the helicopter from Arkansas to the White House. Uh, Billy Carter from Georgia, Plains, Georgia, to the White House. Nobody, uh, nobody goes to, to, to Washington the day before. Obama went to Washington the way the day before. So all the media were watching him in Washington. So there are no people from Chicago there. If, if, the, if the media had gone to Chicago, they would have gone there like maybe a couple of days early. And then they would have I, gone to the pubs and talked to people. Hey, what do you think of Obama? And people would have said, hey, you know, the lottery drew 666 the day after his election. Obama's the Antichrist. Obama didn't want that. So he went to Chicago the night before. That's how he miraculously survived. Okay, so uh, there's a very good video here. Obama of Borg Presidential Pledge. Look at this. It's one minute. It's about these uh, brainwashed uh, Hollywood people. People, it's, it says exactly like it says in, in the Wikipedia uh, that it uh, makes the earth, you see this beast, it makes the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast. You see, the second beast makes the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast. Now look, look at how people worship Obama. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. To be a servant to our president. And all mankind. Because together we can, together we are, and together we will be changed. I am a bomb, a bomb. Resistance is futile. Your life, as it has been, is over. From this time forward, you will service us. Wholly robbed of any sense of individuality, Rome served the collective at large. The society is analogous to an insect colony. The Borg never create. They only assimilate. We are the Borg. We will add your distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is That's impressive. That is, I pledged my, my life and my love of it that I will never live for the sake of another man. That is awesome. People, people have just completely given up. I mean, people, no, nobody's asked Obama for his birth certificate. Nobody has asked who this guy is. They, he's just walked in and taken over. And the man from nowhere, the Antichrist is the man from nowhere. Obama has completely taken over people. Okay, so <laughs> I'm 
trying to find out how to close down this video. Uh, right now, it's a little tacky.